Hi, I'm Jody and this is the Geeking channel. Sometimes I browse Reddit and answer some questions on videos. This question comes from iHobbit. He or she or it or whatever you use these days asks, why do we have else in Python 4 loops? I have added this ugly here. As you know, on the for loops in Python, we can have an else phrase. We say for blah blah do this for example for i in range of 10 do this else when everything is finished successfully do this it's a little bit ugly because for else doesn't ring a bell at least in my mind and i'm not a native english speaker as you can guess but why do we have this? Let's have a look. I will run my Tmax. It's easier to work here. Uh, I can create, for example, for py. The problem is on the examples, they do not show the proper usage of for else. They do something like this. For i in range of five, print i multiplied by two else print finished this is kind of useless example because it doesn't show you why do we have this so it goes through this loop here goes through 0 to 4 prints multiplied by 2 when it's finished it runs this it was equivalent if I didn't have this else and I would print from here would do the same thing. When the 4 is finished, it would run this. But why this is useful and why Python guys decided to have this? Let's have a look at another example which shows you why else is useful in for loops. Uh, say we have a group of different people uh, with ages. These are their ages and they want to go to a bar and drink and we want to see if bar will serve this group or not so their ages are I'm not sure maybe grandfathers with their grandchildren these are the ages I want to check and see if I can serve this group or not so I will go with one of the solutions for age in ages so I'm looping through all of these ages. If age is uh, less than 21, print, sorry, I cannot serve you. Okay. And then break. Why I do a break here? Because of the performance and good programming. I'm checking this. It doesn't work. This, 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 this. And then here I found out, okay, I cannot serve this group. So I don't need to check this one. This break will break this four. So I will continue from here. No need when I know that I cannot serve this group to check other people. Here I can say print. Here are your drinks. Enjoy. So if I run this, what will happen? It will tell me sorry i cannot serve you here because one of them is smaller than 21 then younger than 21 then it goes through the next line and print this this is bad i don't need this here what happens in most programming language is this is a general pattern you will see times and times and will use it times and times you define one boolean variable here for example can serve is true I assume that I can serve this group. So this is a general pattern and you will see the same thing in many languages and different programmings. You say, I assume that I can serve this group. Then I will go through all the people. If I cannot serve any of them, I will change this flag. 
even if you are doing a Hungarian notation, you may call this variable f can serve. So you know it's a flag, it's a Boolean flag. So you say, if I cannot serve any of them, I say, sorry, I cannot serve you guys. And you change your flag so you know that you cannot serve and you break the loop to save time and you don't need to check others. At the end, you say, if I can serve, print this. This works and this is what happens in many of the programming languages. If this guy shows another identity card and says, I'm too old. Can you guess? I'm eating good. I'm doing an exercise, so I look like 17, but I'm 77. It says, okay, here are your drinks and enjoy. This is what you see in many of the programming languages. But in Python, if you are writing a Pythonic program and you are using the language capabilities, you can omit this, you can omit this, and here you can just do it else. Now you are using else in a correct context and not just an example. You say check everyone. If any of them is younger than 21, print this and break. Else, if you finish the loop without breaking it, print this. See, it's cleaner. You are using one less flag variable and code is more readable. Say, sorry, I cannot serve you. And if you show your fake ID and the bartender is okay with it, you will get here are your drinks. This is how else is being used. I call it ugly because this is kind of ugly for else. Maybe finished would be a better keyword, but most probably they didn't want to create a new Python keyword. So they just the existing else one. But this is how you write Pythonic and this is why else is useful in this language. Have fun and learn new